actually, uh, we have the opportunity to meet a lovely local woman who's going to teach us how to prepare a milk rice dish. It's actually served as a breakfast, so I've not really had a rice dish for breakfast. When you walk into a Sri Lankan kitchen, it feels like how cooking should be. The first thing you see is this row of, of pots over open fire and it just feels like you're more connected with the food. There's no electronics or gadgets or stainless steel appliances in the way. It's also really hot. If you want to get anywhere near the pots or even have a chance at stirring the rice while it's over that open heat, yeah, you've just got to be really prepared for it. To go with the, the milk rice dish, we'll have a side of uh, sini sambal, which is a sugar salad. You might think it's um, a bowl of sugar. It's not. You actually get the sugar and the sweet taste from caramelising the onions. So essentially it's an onion salad with a bit of sugar thrown in and some chilli. There's always chilli flakes. Oh, it's slippery. That's just from one session. I think there were a couple of language barriers and I was pointing to a couple of things and trying to work out the best way to, to stir or I think when it comes to food and you're in a kitchen and you feel comfortable in a kitchen, you can get past the, the language barrier and you can just communicate with a bit of body language, pointing to the food and, and just what you see and what you smell. Today we're preparing the milk rice dish because we're using it as an offering at the local temple. We're using coconut milk in the rice today because in Buddhist culture, coconut milk uh, symbolizes prosperity and good health. There are a lot of coconut based dishes and I didn't expect that. So I just thought there'd be a lot of curry paste, a lot of chili flakes, curry powder and things like that. They just use coconut for everything. Coconut, uh, we actually, it's the tree of life of us. There's coconut oil, there's coconut cream, there's coconut water, there's coconut milk, and there's a coconut alcoholic drink called toddy. When you taste the milk rice for the first time, it's actually really unexpected because you have this um, one notion of what rice is supposed to taste like. You get little, little chili pops, and then the mildness of the coconut rice. So far I've really loved the milk rice dish. It's so simple, it's flavoursome, it goes really well with the curry and chilli paste flavours here. So I've got to say that's a winner.